Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or whenever you're watching this. Um, so welcome to uh, our final week of the unit, um, week seven of the course. And uh, today we're going to be, I just want to run through what's due, and, and you'll uh, maybe notice uh, that my voice dropped like an octave. I'm fighting off, uh, fighting off a cold here, so apologies in advance. So just to kind of summarize what we've done over the last um, few weeks. And what I think you probably have all recognized or all recognize right now is that the pace of the course has picked up considerably. Um, and it's going to be good for the next two weeks now from now until the 24th. Um, you have some time to catch up and catch your breath and think about your final draft uh, because I know it's been a really, uh, really tough pace. Um, especially it compared to the first three weeks or so. So um, this is our uh, revision week, our revision module for the first formal writing assignment. And so really where you should be um, is, is kind of in a space where you have your essay written uh, with a thesis statement and not a developed intro paragraph at the top and a body of your essay. So you should probably be sitting around three and a half or or so pages of writing. You should probably be around in a 1500 word essay. If you want to think about it in terms of word count, you should probably be thinking about around 11 to 1200 words. Um, if you're not there, that's okay. I'm going to be giving you some uh, input and some insight into um, what you've created already. But in the revision module, you'll notice, and I'm, I'm going to share my screen just so you can see. So in the revision module, you'll notice, uh, so last week was really focused around creating a outline, a working outline, and a rough draft. And so the outline, um, I gave many of you comments. I'm working through some of those, but really what it was is to get some ideas down um, and to develop some paragraphs and to begin developing how your ideas are going to fit together. Coming up with this rough draft that um, I had I had a due date recommendation for yesterday night. When we get into revision, really revision is all about thinking of how well your purpose connects to your audience. And so hopefully all of your content, all of the stuff that you think is important in the context of happiness that we've been discussing and that we've been reading and, and kind of turning over in our head, hopefully that's all there. And uh, you have a draft that comes close to saying what you think. Synthesizing, synthesizing the voices, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, you see as important and bringing your voice and your experience and your perspective into that equation, into that fold. Right, if you think back to the beginning of uh, this class, it's really like um, figuring out like what your perspective on this thing is. You know, if you remember that metaphor of a tree in one of my early video modules, right? Like what side of this tree do you stand on and where do the people that we've read stand in conjunction to you? And how do you reconcile? How do you make sense of all of those ideas? And so we're making sure that what we wrote and what we think we've said is what other people read and hear and understand. And that's what peer editing is all about. Now. I always am a little bit, a um, little bit guarded in terms of of using peer editing because I know at this point in the unit, what you really want to do is you really want to focus on your writing. You really want to focus on the things that you've done and that you need to do to get through this project and get to the grade that you want. But if we if we disconnect from this as a course and we think about what we want to do in a workforce, what we want to do once we are um, writing for a purpose, we really want to make sure that the writing that we construct is clear, is logical, um, and that it communicates our expertise on a topic to our reader. That's what's most important, right? And so my comments on a draft, excuse me, my comments on a draft and uh, your peers' comments on the draft are going to be really important in, um, in determining whether you've been successful in that. Uh, I'm also going to be giving you as a separate uh, module. So today is Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a um, a separate module where I um, 
give you some instruction where I give you some direction on creating an intro and a conclusion. I do this in a better way in our next unit, um, but I want to make sure that you have a completed uh, text. So I'm going to give you some some ways to understand intro and conclusion right now. So from a very practical standpoint this week, you're really only doing two things. You are uploading your final draft. OK, now this final draft should be done. You should do this after you've completed the peer editing assignment. So this ordering is intentional. All right, and I have this draft due on March 24th at 11.59, uh, and that's at the end of our spring break. Uh, that's at the end of the break. So um, you have some time right now uh, to kind of catch up and to get up to date. This needs to be in by then. Um, before that, I want you to upload the draft. So whatever draft you submitted here, right, to this essay one, whatever draft you submitted there, you want to take and you want to put it right in this peer editing assignment. And this peer editing assignment is a discussion board. So here's how it's going to work. <coughs> I give you some instructions up here, but you're going to start a new thread. You're going to click on this insert stuff option. You will have downloaded your um, essay. You're either going to drag a file or you can go to your document, right? So let's say it's called SA1 Rough Draft. You're going to select that. You're going to click open. We're going to add this as an attachment. And then you just click upload. And it'll give you something like this. You can add alternative text if you want to. Um, so if I call this um, rough draft Pritchard, but, yeah, but you have to save it. Rough draft Pritchard. I'm going to update. Hmm. Well, it's not letting me update this right now. Um, remove the link here. But it, it should allow you to upload it. it, even if it looks messy like that. Really, what we're doing is just giving people a way to access ours. And I see that there's some people that submitted already. Giving people a way to access our, um, our document. And so I have, in addition, I have a uh, guided revision form. So if you click on this, the guided revision activity looks like this. And it just gives you some, it just gives you some questions to, uh, to ask, right? And so um, it get, you know, copy and paste what you think the thesis or the main question of the essay. Do you think this thesis is focused? This, it just gives you a a, some stuff to do. Because a lot of times when people uh, do a peer editing assignment, they say, oh, this sounds great, right? Good job, <laughs> right? And we move on to the next one. And it really doesn't give us a way to understand that um, that piece differently. So you're going to put your comments on uh, one of your peers. Um, one of your peers papers, uh, if for whatever reason you don't get one, um, and if everybody could just be mindful about making sure that everybody has a comment. Um, if somebody already has multiple people that have commented um, and you see somebody else's paper sitting with no comments, if you could please just do that. Um, even, even though uh, you can successfully complete this assignment, if you respond to your own or if you have somebody at home or somebody that you know uh, complete that response, um, you could upload that. Um, you are only responsible for your own um, your own draft, right? So excuse me, your own uh, uploading your own draft and having a peer revision for somebody. And so if if there's uh, nobody else to revise, which is not the case because we see that there's already a couple people in here. If there's no one to revise, you always certainly could could do it for your own. Um, but you need to have uploaded yours and you need to uh, 
complete a guided revision resource um, for somebody. And that's what that's what will signify to me that you've successfully completed this aspect. Um, and please make sure that you do that. Um, don't don't neglect this portion of it. Part of the part of the goals for this course, and if we look, um, you know, at, at our module introduction, right? These module learning outcomes are all tied to the goals of the course uh, for the course learning outcomes. And so, um, you know, being able to revise and work in a multiple uh, stage writing process is really important. And then finally, once you feel like your paper is complete, once you feel like you've done as much as you can right now, upload it to the final draft by um, this date, preferably. But again, the due dates are recommendations. The work needs to be completed by the end of the course. If you go back and rewatch that first um, rewatch that first module where I described the grading, the labor-based grading, uh, you know that in order to earn an A for the course, you do these, and you also need to complete uh, three of the additional labors. And so here is the first one here. And the additional labor for this, all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna take a look at the notes that I give to you for your final corrected essay. So after you submit on the 24th or somewhere around there, I will give you some notes. Those notes will give you an opportunity to expand your essay or to focus on some aspect uh, that's going to make you a more successful writer. So it's going to be something really focused on you as an individual and how you can get, um, how, you, how you can advance on the writing process, how you can improve. So um, I apologize uh, once again, you know, I, I know my, um, my voice here dropped an octave and it's kind of indicative of also how I feel. Um, so apologies, uh, apologies for that. Hopefully this was clear. Um, hopefully you understand what the goal is for this week. And if you have any questions, um, please, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. Um, final piece, and I'm also going to post this in my announcement, but final piece is if you want to have a one on one conversation about your writing, um, let's set that up and do that between now and the 24th. Um, even though the school is off uh, next week, I'm in the office all next week. I'm more than happy to set up a time. Um, if that doesn't work for you, um, and you have specific questions, you can just email me the questions as well. Um, I'm happy to do uh, do either of those things. All right. <laughs> I hope everybody stays well, and uh, and please let me know if you have questions as we finish out uh, unit one. Thank you.